The Google team has some exciting news to share today. In Google Docs, you can now assign a checklist item to yourself or a colleague that will then show up in an assignee's task list. This new feature is in addition to Smart Canvas. Smart Canvas is a new product experience that delivers a new evolution of collaboration for Google Workspace. Let's dive deeper. In this demonstration, I am currently logged in as Trainer 13 today, and I have a document open. It has some items here that need to be completed, but to make it a task, we first have to make it a checklist. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the information that needs to be done and make it a checklist by going to my toolbar and selecting the checklist option. Now, next to the checkbox, you will have a new option to assign task. Let's go ahead and assign this task to myself. I'm gonna go ahead and click assign a task and going to ahead and type in my email address, in this case, trainer13. I can also add a date of a due date of this particular task. I'll go ahead and add it for tomorrow and click assign task. I can also assign tasks to other collaborators of the document or people that maybe haven't been have access to this document already. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign a task. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and assign this task to trainer two and I'm gonna go ahead and add a due date of tomorrow as well and select assign task. Now trainer two currently does not have access to this particular document. So to give them access, you will receive a pop-up and go ahead and provide access and click share. Now trainer two and trainer thir 13 are working on this document together. Now, the other cool thing about this update is that the individual task that's been assigned does appear on your individual task list. So let's go ahead and navigate to trainer 13's task list in hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Google task, which can be available in your sidebar, and you will see a new task called create a training video. You'll see the due date of tomorrow, and this is a friendly reminder, when you put a due date, it does also appear in your calendar task as well. And you can also see the link to the document to get you right back to the content in hand. There are several ways to mark the task completed. I can go ahead and click mark as completed here and it will be in my completed task list and it will also mark this as completed here on the doc as well. You can do it both ways. I'm gonna go ahead and click mark as completed from the task list and you will see now in the Google doc that it is shows that it's completed. You can also edit and remove the task if you ever need to for some reason or reassign it. If you hover over the task in here in the Google doc, you can edit the task if you choose to. Maybe someone else needs to take this task and go ahead and adjust it. If you want, you can always click delete or you can pop open the task and bring it back to your task over here in your task list. So it's a very great collaboration tool for you to assign tasks and keeps you organized in your individual task list, which is also known as your to-do list. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out the resources below.